All right, round two is definitely a keep. Get to start it off with Prism into Puzzle Mount. Get some nice card draw going. All right, we've got a Thriving Turtle. All right, Turtle's getting big quickly. All right, so I'll play Prism. Hmm, that's pretty good. All right, it kind of looks similar to our deck from last time. All right, so I guess if our opponent puts all of their eggs into the proverbial thriving turtle uh, basket here, that underhanded design should do some work. So let's play the attune with ether here. We get our white mana. Play our white mana. We play a puzzle knot. And next turn we just have to make sure we play our swamp so we can activate underhanded design. But... That should take care of that turtle quite nicely. And they put a card on top, okay. All right, well. We get to blow up the turtle, so I guess that's good. Blow up turtle, take two. Hmm. All right, let's blow up the puzzle knot here. Oh, yeah, cost three. I always forget. What's our low end again? Uh, more black, so we can do this. All right, well, pillar bug is actually... Pretty reasonable. They put a card on top again, all right. All right, Hermit. Um, they don't quite threaten lethal yet, which is good. So, but unfortunately, we don't quite have the mana to Pillar Bug plus Hunt the Week, which would be pretty useful here. But then again, I guess giving Life Link and Hunt the Week is pretty nice next turn if we live. Mm, okay. It's a bit problematic. Hmm, operative's nice though. Okay. So we give lifelink, we hunt the uh I guess just a theorist. And then I guess we can still attack. And they can just block with the artisan, but we gain more life. And then we play the operative? Wait, can we even do that? Let's see. Black here. That, yeah, we can. Cool. So let's play another Swamp. Give Lifelink. 
hunt a theorist. Attack for three. And play an operative. And they bottomed a card. Okay. Trumpeter. Works well with the fabrication module. So I guess we'll... Offer the trade, because our opponent does have the means to keep the hermit coming, so alright. I guess that's reasonable. Hmm, operative number two. So I guess we attack with the bug again. Gain some more life. Play operative, play land, might as well. We've got the wildest dreams in here somewhere. An opponent bottoms that card they scryed. Scrying during their main phase, which does give them some fabrication module gasoline. So their trumpeter is going to get bigger. Hmm. So I can swing with the bug and the operative. Opponent can block like that. Guess I just swing with the bug. Opponent would can't block enough things. All right. So we'll get in with bug again, I guess. I don't think this is bad. I mean, we gain life out of it, so can't be all that bad. All right. And the good news is that we're keeping the, wow, the trumpeter at bay with our operative, but Hmm, this uh oh well, that's pretty sexy. What can I return? I can return underhanded design. And that takes Nissa to two. Which means my opponent would be able to kill her next turn. So I think we're just gonna keep Nissa back. Or not keep Nissa back, but just untap lands and make creatures for now. Um, so how close to emblem? Oh, I can emblem next turn. All right, well, maybe I just sandbag the land then. Okay. Well, construct's good. So now we can actually emblem next turn and keep Nissa around. That's probably for the best. So let's just play Construct, see what our opponent does with the Scry. Figure out what we want to do with the Scry. Oh yeah, we're keeping that. What, oh, I, I missed what our opponent did. Let's find out. They put a card on top. All right, well, they put a card on top in this board state. That's worrisome.
Okay. So if I emblem now, my opponent's going to have quite a few creatures that are big. But I guess we'll go for it. So we'll play the land, draw an extra card. Oh, that's pretty good. So we get to play the Stomper. Um, four creatures. Yeah, I guess we can play the Thopter and actually leave it back. And this is even more protected. Okay. Um, they bottomed a card. So they still have the fabrication module. They can use it here. That's interesting. I don't know why they put it on the... I'm not sure if that's the wisest idea. So let's draw our extra card. Yes, please. Ooh, copter. So let's make a... Well, I guess we can do that post-combat. So let's swing with the thopter now. Although... Yeah, I guess we... Well... Yeah, I think we are actually going to swing with the... Yeah, we're going to attack with the thopter. So we attack with the thopter... Oh no, our opponent's got Artisan, that's right. I forgot. Alright, my bad. So we'll play the Copter. Oh, and I forgot to use Nissa too? Jeez. I knew I should have used it. Or, uh, I knew I should have used it pre-combat. So I should have a 5-5 five -five now. Pretty serious mistake, unfortunately. Freighter. So I'm just going to do it now because I forgot last time. We'll play a land, we'll play a freighter, and we'll pass. So, if I'd remembered to use Nissa, I could have gotten back my underhanded design. Which can at least deal with the only things that are big threats here, but now we got to deal with multi form wonder, which is going to be pretty tough. Attacking Nissa, so we'll activate the copter. And we'll block and loot. Let's get trampled too. No. So we'll loot. I mean, we still have wildest streams in here too. That's pretty good. Have been useful. So activate before I forget again. Play the pillar bug. And I guess we'll pass. Aha, minister. Well, that's 
going to end us. Um, we still have a means to beat it. We Now we have a new underhand design target. So we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to get Wildest Dreams here, I think. So Nissa goes down. I don't have any way to block it. Is that correct? Yeah. So these things get bigger. Construct. Put that on the bottom. I mean, we just don't have enough time to win off of a of a lookout. Alright, bone bottoms. This game was sweet, other than my one uh, uh, punt turn. The old double punt turn, nothing worse. Oh yeah, I was supposed to play my land to draw a card. Jeez. Alright, so opponent tops something with their theorists this time. So, I think at this point we're done. I did get the wildest dreams. I still think we're done. I mean, I guess I can play it out. I don't know how we can win, though. That's the problem. Okay. So, we have to kill Minister this turn, which means four of our mana has to be used for underhanded design. So... That means we have nine, which means we can bring back four cards. Okay, so we'll bring back design, um, copter, I guess, Nissa, and hunt the week. Okay. So bring these back. Play the underhand design. Blow up the minister. So we get looted for, or, or milled for two rather. And we pass. So we only have four turns to win? It seems difficult. My plan is to kill the artisan, and then we have to still fly over top somehow. I'm not sure if we can deal enough damage. Yeah, we might be able to. Actually, I'd be surprised if we... Nah, because our opponent has the multi-form wonder too. I guess we have the blossoming defense, which is nice. Our opponent's got so many flyers, though. <laughs> yeah, I just I don't think we have enough deck to win. So we have to eat the the Voyager. Oh, I'm also behind on time. I'm actually going to concede because my opponent's seen most of the cards in my deck and I'm and I'm too far behind on time. So I did make a big punt earlier. I'm not 100% sure it costs us the game. It certainly was a big mistake, but did it cost us the game? I don't know. That's always a tough question to answer. Do we need the Creeping Mold? So Creeping Mold deals with what? some of our opponent's artifacts. What are the crazy artifacts we saw? Did I already forget? I guess it deals with lands. Um, 
We saw like a metal spinner's puzzle nut. And then other than that, it was just, oh, the, the fabrication module. Yeah, fabrication module is pretty big there. All right, we'll bring it in. We'll cut a puzzle knot like last time. I guess that's just an easy cut. And we'll try this again. So I'm going to have to actively be making quicker decisions while simultaneously not making punts. So not the best, uh, not the best of circumstances. All right, we'll play first. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic hand. Certainly cannot uh, complain about this one. Look out into copters, pretty slick. Oh, the minister. The minister. But that's okay. That is okay. So, um... I think I'm actually going to do it now because I don't want to give my opponent access to instant speed things. This lets my opponent attack with a minister of uh, inquiries, but I don't actually think that's great. Basically, I just don't want it to be a creature on my opponent's turn. Not that it's super dangerous because it's not, but it's just something to be conscious of. All right. So opponent's on what? The mill plan? I guess that's fine. Play the attune, find our white mana. Play our white mana, do our copter. Swing with copter. And we'll ditch the wildest dreams. Because we don't need it. All right. I mean, good news is we're currently winning the race. Bad news is Minister's pretty good. If our opponent can find some reasonable answers here for our things, for our stuff and things. Well, I don't have any green mana yet. That's pretty good news. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident about this game. We get to go Thopter here and just beat so hard. Beat so hard. I mean, they're technically... Are they dead next turn? So, I guess we can ditch a construct. It definitely seems like the weakest thing we have. Especially since, at this point, on this board state, the only way our opponent wins is outdrawing us. Alright, they got rid of three lands. They're scrying. Put a card on top? Oh no. What did they find? Artisan. So they can block one of our guys. But if we get a green mana, we just get to Nyssa too. Yeah, that's so crippling. Yeah, they're done, son. They're done, son. Yep. All right. Well, got the nut and won. Very good. Okay. So, what's the plan now? Anything different? I mean, we do have the... We already brought in the creeping mold for the fabrication module. And I don't think we need anything else. We could mind rot, I guess. I don't think it's necessary. We'll keep the rest the same. Uh, yeah, it's a keep. Really can't mulligan hands like this. It's just obviously not nearly as exciting as the last one. All right. Let's see what they do with those scries. Let's see. They... Bottom and topped. Okay. Does not answer many questions. So here we're going to play the operative. Because I think it's going to be better next turn when we play the pillar bug. 
right, freighter is acceptable. Yeah, with the creeping mold too. All right, so uh, I think we are actually going to attack with the operative here. Because with the pillar bug, I'm not actually taking that much damage from the freighter. So if my opponent plays a creature to activate the freighter to attack for five, it's it's actually not that big of a deal. And in fact, they're not. Okay. Well, Gearsmith's not bad. We've got the Creeping Mold. What do we want to do? So we can play the Construct first. See what our opponent does. Hmm. Gearsmith is fine here, actually. I guess we can swing with Operative and see if our opponent trades. And if they don't, Play Creeping Mold on the Freighter, maybe? Hmm. I guess that's acceptable. It's not exactly what I wanted to do. But it might have to be good enough. So if our opponent doesn't block, which I suspect they will not, but they might, we'll just uh, blow up the Freighter. All right. I'm okay with this. So we'll play our White Mana and we'll blow up Freighter. Hmm, that's pretty good. Guess we can get it back with Gearsmith in a pinch. Ooh, it's not bad either. All right, I guess we can play Construct first. Pump our operative. Ooh, I'll keep the freighter on top and see what our opponent does. Ooh, they put a card on top as well, huh? Scary. All right. Let's get the operative in there. And play the rhino. And pass. Okay. Wild Wanderer. Searching for a green mana, okay? So let's attack with our operative. We'll play the Gearsmith. Bring back the operative. And play a land and pass. Okay. One card left in our opponent's hand, but they do have the glass blowers puzzle knot, so got to be conscious of that. They also have an Aether Theorist now, so we need to find an answer for that Outrider, if at all possible. Well, that's not bad. So let's play the Freighter, play the Operative, and then pass. Mm, multi-form wonder, okay. So they have a bunch of energy. How are they going to block me if I attack with operative and freighter? Um, this can become a 1-5, which is not good enough. Or an 0-7, I guess. No, which is also not really that intimidating. All right. We'll activate the, the freighter. I guess we'll actually, eh, I'm not attacking. Well, all right. So we'll do this. And we'll swing with operative and freighter.
Hmm. I guess just in case. I'm not sure. But we will kill the Outrider. And the Servo token, actually. What's going on here? What am I missing? Why did my opponent do that? I'm actually unsure. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm sure a commenter can pick up on... Because my opponent seems like a sharp person, so... Why would they have triple blocked? What were they fearful of? I guess, I mean, a combat trick, I guess, but... Wouldn't I have attacked more aggressively if I had a combat trick? I guess that's the real question. Ooh. Draw three is pretty good. And they found the fabrication module, but we get to beat in a little bit here. So they can start busting their energy to do some cool stuff, gain a bunch of life. So we take five flying lifelink. It's pretty good. How much does it cost? Is it one per? Jeez. Okay, so we can swing with pretty much everything. Guess we'll keep the construct back. So my opponent can block artisan on that. But what happens if I attack with everything? My opponent just blocks here and blocks here and takes 369. What happens if I don't attack with construct? My opponent blocks here and takes nine. Okay, so we're just going to leave the construct back. We, they take the same amount of damage by by my count. Might be wrong, but I think that's right. It also forces our... Well, I guess it doesn't really force much, does it? Wait, why would my opponent take all that? That seems, that seems odd. Hmm. Oh, I guess we die, don't we? Because my opponent can double buff the wonder and then attack with everything. And uh, I take 10. That's right. So I guess I needed to leave the, the gearsmith back? I guess so. All right. Well, ended up losing. Um, but opponent's deck was pretty sweet, so more power to him. All right, we'll see you in the finals.